All right, uh, we're at Second Day Red Rocks here, and we're going to have a little bit of fun today. we got a little bit of time. Uh, so I'm going to do a little demonstration for you here on uh, how Anya works, right? How, things that we can do uh, with Anya here. So what we're going to do here at Red Rocks, because we got just such a good opportunity to do it, is we're going to take and we're going to space out. What do we got here? One, two, three, four microphones throughout the entire vertical coverage of the venue. Uh, and then we're going to go to basically a zero coverage on the PA, meaning I'm only going to be covering for the first 25 feet of the venue. Uh, as you'll see here, we're going to have a live smart trace of all of these microphones and then we're going to put in the building geometry into the PA system and let it make its calculation and make its polar adjustment for the venue and you'll see that all come to life right here uh, in the smart traces. All right, so uh, let's get going here. I'll show you the mic placements here. One second. All right, our first mic position is about 36.29 milliseconds from the PA. That represents about 25 feet plus another 10 milliseconds of processing delay. Our next trace, the green trace in SMART, is going to be 71.92 milliseconds from the PA. As you can see, we're just working in a straight line back from the PA system. Next trace is orange, 144.3 milliseconds from the PA system. And then finally, our yellow trace. Uh, which is nearly all the way to the back of the menu, 226.44 milliseconds from the PA system. Okay, so this first screen you see here uh, is from the EAW Resolution software. And this is the software we use to establish the coverage area uh, that the ANYA PA system is going to provide for a given building geometry. And at Red Rocks, uh, really we're primarily concerned with vertical coverage here, meaning kind of front to back, uh, bottom to top, top coverage and uh, what you see here is the actual slope of the seating in the venue uh, that Vic has entered into the software just using simple surveying tools in the morning. And this little vertical section you see here actually represents a side view of the PA system as it exists in that geometry. Uh, correct with trim height, uh, etc. The whole thing is in play here in context. Now, once we enter some geometry into the software, these horizontal working blue lines indicate the current coverage delivered by the PA system. And as you can see here, uh, and really for the purposes of this demonstration today, there is literally no coverage angle uh, being created by the software right now. Everything is going straight forward. Uh, it would kind of match what your eyes would predict if you were actually looking at the PA system, which you can see a picture of it here on the side. And remember, with Anya, this is all being done with DSP. There is no mechanical articulation of the boxes or the components in any way, which, you, again, you can kind of see in the live side view uh, on the left-hand side of the screen here of the PA system. It all hangs in a perfectly straight line, uh, which uh, also, uh, very importantly, keeps all the spacing between all the different components identical, and therefore, uh, the most consistently manipulatable by the DSP. There's no varied spacing of the components as a result of angling the cabinets. So for today's demonstration, uh, to begin, we're going to take an FFT measurement with all of the coverage directed down, uh, as you'll see here. We're going to go down to about the first 30 feet of the seating. Uh, and you can see that uh, that kind of being executed here uh, by the resolution software. And next, I'm going to turn on some pink noise, and uh, you know, I want to kind of now outline what you're seeing in SMART, and you'll get some sense uh, of what I'm going to try to attempt to demonstrate here today. As I showed you earlier, we have four microphones spaced out up the hill uh, that are going to allow us to evaluate the coverage capabilities of the PA system as it changes in real time. Uh, and as you can see here, we, we see the frequency responses and relative volumes of the PA system at each one of these microphone uh, locations in the venue. And it's to be expected with the entire PA system being uh, used to cover the first 30 feet of the venue, obviously the loudest part of the venue is seen by the microphone that is closest to the PA system. And of course the quietest part of the venue is the microphone that is farthest from the PA system. And you can kind of also see this emphasized in the metering for each one of those microphones if you look closely. Uh, the meter for the brown trace, which is the closest to the PA, obviously shows the most level, and the farthest ones show the least level. So uh, we want to address that, uh, but we also want to ensure, maybe more importantly, 
that the farther seats of the venue have as close to the same frequency response or tonality as the seats nearest the PA system, right? Uh, of course, consistent frequency response being the most important final outcome here uh, compared even to consistent volume. So, um, I guess at this point we'll just engage the coverage map and send it to the PA system. And as, uh, as you can see here, uh, it all starts to kind of fall right into place. You can see all the curves uh, start to fall right on top of one another. Uh, and this is the re-manipulation of energy going up the hill now. Uh, and it's kind of indicating that we have indeed achieved really consistent coverage front to back at the venue. Uh, now, you guys that are looking closely here and you know this kind of work, you, you may also be noticing some high frequency roll off uh, for the yellow and the red curves, which are the ones farthest up the hill. Well, it's important to keep it in context here now. And it's important to keep in mind, we are midday in an extremely hot and just as importantly extremely extremely dry atmosphere meaning lacking humidity uh, and, and has all that in play while we're assessing these measurements so some of that frequency content frequency content excuse me is literally lost to the environmental conditions uh, but honestly I, I you know i've been here so many times i really don't have uh, many concerns about this as it sits right now because we're expecting much cooler weather uh, with considerably more humidity around showtime and later. And I would be willing to bet some good money that all of that top end information will come up and even uh, even out right before showtime. So, uh, I mean, we may go ahead and prepare some spatial EQ to, to address it and then engage it uh, if we feel it's necessary, but we won't engage it until we're sure we need it around showtime. All right? So really cool stuff there. That, that's, that, that's about it for the EAW demonstration. I, I, you know, we've kind of compressed this down into a little demo here. And uh, you know, I hope you're impressed by this, because I tell you, as I reminisce about all the shows I've done here over you know, 30 plus years of coming here, I, I've done just so many shows here, and all the attempts at different PA configurations I've tried in order to properly cover this venue, it is just so incredible to have this kind of power and capability at your fingertips. And, I hope you all can appreciate how empowering it is to have this at your disposal. So I'll give a big shout out, a big thanks to the engineering teams at EAW for developing this amazing technology. So uh, I'm looking forward to using it tonight. I bet we're going to have a really, really good couple of shows here.